Now we're gonna look at the figure eight knot. This is one of the most important knots to know because it has a wide range of applications, especially if you get into things like climbing or sailing. This could be really a good knot to have. Here's a real simple way to tie it. You hold your rope like this, you bring the rope around and back through. Pop. And it's real easy to inspect. I can just show you right here. Because you see that figure eight in the rope. It can be used at the end of a rope to make sure you don't repel off of it. And it's actually fairly easy to untie if you put a lot of pressure on it because you what you do is you just kind of break that head and that allows you to undo it. Now I'm going to show you a couple ways to tie this, but first let's look at the climbing application. So here I'm just going to hang the loose end like this and I'm going to wrap it around and come back at me and I'm going to poke it through the hole. This way end up with a perfect figure eight knot like this. Once you have this first figure eight, you can thread it through your harness and make what's called a double figure eight knot. And essentially, you're going to follow the path of the other knot all the way around and create yourself a nice looking loop like this. The variation to it is the figure eight on a bite. So a bite being somewhere in the middle of your rope. So say you don't have that end to thread around and through. All you do is you tie it much like you would single figure eight. So you just take the loop up, you take it around like so, and then you take it through. And you can give yourself however much slack you need. Just make sure you dress it nice like that. And that looks exactly like the knot Jonas tied, except you, you wouldn't be able to tie it through a grommet or an eye ring or a harness here, but you could clip that into anything you needed. So there you have it. Hope you learned a little bit about the figure eight. We have a lot of knots. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.